Serena Group. Uh, we're going to talk about how to use MLS uh, Connect to go ahead and access um, information from the MLS and import it directly into Zip Forms to help your um, transactions. Uh, also, we're going to discuss the templates uh, that are available to you with uh, your Serena Group uh, Zip Forms account. So we're going to go ahead and start with uh, the new button to go ahead and create a new transaction like you would uh, normally. So you'll hit that new button. Type in the name of the transaction. So I'm going to call this 1234 Main Street. Uh, and we'll call this a uh, purchase, uh, residential. And then with uh, your Serena Group account, we also have global templates for you to go ahead and select from. So you can hit Apply Template. And you can select from uh, any of these different templates that we have available to you. So in this case, I'm going to choose a residential purchase template. And what that's going to do is bring in all the forms that are needed uh, for me to complete a residential purchase transaction. I will go ahead and then hit save and it will create the transaction for me uh, as you can see in the upper left of the account. Now, uh, while in the account, uh, the quickest way to fill out the information for um, the transaction is actually through the cover sheet. Um, you can uh, click on the cover sheet here and the first thing that I typically like to do is to go into MLS Connect to bring in the MLS uh, information for the property. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into MLS. I'm going to go ahead and need a listing ID that we can go ahead and work with. Uh, so in this case, I will try to randomly select one uh, and see if that works. It may not. Um, and then if not, we'll go ahead and have to go select a um, specific property. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just go select a specific property. So you'll log into your MLS account. Quickly. And then you can go ahead and go into your matrix search like you normally do. And then we can go ahead and search for active, single family home. I'm going to select Morgan Hill. Uh, we'll hit results. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and grab this MLS number uh, to work from. We can then plug this MLS number into here. We can hit find. And what that's going to do is going to auto-populate all of the property information for this transaction uh, and also the listing agent information for the property as well. Uh, we can go ahead and hit import and we can go ahead and hit yes to replace current data and then we'll hit OK. And as we scroll into uh, the rest of the transaction, you'll see that all of the property information has been input into uh, this and as well as the listing broker information as well. So now you can go ahead and add in the buyer name and you can also add in all their contact information and what this is going to do um, is it will um, populate uh, throughout the entire transaction. So when you're done, you can go ahead and hit save. Now if we go back to uh, like the residential purchase agreement, now when you scroll through the purchase agreement, you will see that uh, Joe Smith has been added as the buyer here. Now we can go ahead and check the appropriate boxes um, and then if we add our information into any of these fields, anything that is consistent will populate through the remainder of the transaction. So you can see that Puma Estates, Hamid Rizvani uh, has been added here uh, and then as you uh, all the property information and the buyer has been added in these additional sections. So with the combination of the templates and MLS Connect, the goal is to make uh, the process of getting an offer generated uh, quite a bit quicker. And then uh, factoring in the ability to e-sign directly from uh, zip forms. Um, hopefully you can do everything online, both from your desktop as well as your mobile phone. Uh, if you have any questions, you know where to reach me. Have a great day.